We are more complicated than we think we are. We are even more complicated than the stories we tell. We are guilty of not speaking of the elephant in the room, noticing the weight of a life and another, and thus resigning ourselves to a particular fate. What do you carry? Pink lip gloss, a granola bar wrapper, overwhelmness at work, your mother's laughter, helplessness in the current political climate. By my design, what we carry is a body of visual artworks asking you to embrace the elephant in the room, to begin to own your own shadows, and to practice compassion. How do our bodies and our actions keep score of our life experiences, and how does that manifest in our everyday? How do we dig deep into seeing ourselves? There's a woman in Augusta who carries a meticulous packed cart. She wears a poncho, rain or shine. She was the catalyst for this project. I meant not so much the universe at large, the stars, the moon, the living space we fly through more, the finite air we share, spirit range, aura hugging arms. Your freckles invite awe as perfectly as the wisp of Milky Way on a summer's night could lose us. We forget our place so much. Our Small World poem by Christopher Farrell and these paintings were one example of our collaboration last year to make sense of the current human condition. It was December and the news was too much for me to bear and I sat in my studio weeping. I wanted to reach for steady ground. I went to bed early with tea. A shadow is never created in darkness. It is born of light. We can be blind to it. Our shadow asks us to look at what we don't see, says Terry Tempest Williams. It's now a bright morning. My daughter yells, Mom, look outside. Look at the snow. Falling light. Can art heal or transform? My work is done primarily in the medium of encaustic. Encaustic is a Greek word that means to burn in. This molten beeswax paint can be painted on with a brush poured on hot and melted and then fused into each subsequent layer with a torch, a heat gun, or um, an iron. Working in this medium allows me to take pieces like quilt fragments, memories, marks to signify days past, to work with brokenness and to bring them together. Sometimes the, the wax is poured onto waxed paper. It's cooled, it's peeled off and put on like a mosaic. The images evolve organically. How do we make sense of everything we carry? Looking more closely at our every day, seeing the ideas of stuff in chapters and lifetimes, and developing compassion for our own fellow human, and standing up with all your mess and acceptance. Life is messy, isn't it? <laughs> Unbalance. I no longer could separate my personal from my art. In early December last year, a governor made a declaration that he would not welcome Syrian refugees into Maine. I could, I could imagine seeing myself, my grandfather, my Cambodian friend, the Pike, carrying the load of a life attempting to start a new beginning. The two elder women here are sisters, Sarah and Helen Weiderkopf. Sarah and Helen were immigrants from Austria, entry into the United States, 1916, along with their father, Isidore, their mother, and four older sisters. Sarah was the most compassionate of all the family. She took her sister Helen under her wing, ignoring Orthodox Jewish law and fear, as Helen had married a German officer stowaway in 1938. The eldest daughter of Helen, my mother, Janice, quickly took on the role as caretaker. Tenement housing was hard times in New York City. She seeked refuge at the library and played Catholic to gain community and eat hot meals. Gradually, her own mother's eyes looked away and turned back on her own as well in illness, tradition, and fear. What we carry belongs to our past, present, and future, but these works are meant to look forward, to inspire conversation, to provoke curiosities. How do we arrive to this middle ground? We are reaching. What are we searching for? I kiss this beautiful landscape on a quiet walk with my dog and I consider all I have been blessed with. But the ground is so unsteady now. In 1854, Thoreau says, the man who goes alone can start today, but he who travels with another must wait until that other is ready. 
Peace Interrupted is inspired by the conflict between environmentalists and sportsmen in Oregon last winter, both claiming their rights on a loved land. Revealing or attempting to engage with others about the depth of our human nature can plane us into vulnerability. We often try on other personas. To protect ourselves, lions are not what they seem. Wikipedia says that in biomechanics, balance is an ability to maintain the line of gravity of a body within the base of support with minimal postural sway. If we can take on more weight, we can if there's more of us to support it. I just lost a slide. <laughs> Anyways, this is a wonderful poem inspired by this painting called Turbulence, and I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> the very last slide, um, which I wasn't gonna tell you, but I'm going to now, is an image um, that was inspired by a bus ride. Give me a second, Bill. Can you stop? I can't stop. How sad this is. I was doing so well. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> This is the rain lady and her cart is very full and she's thinking that she doesn't need anything else but she's so glad to receive a new poncho and she's thinking that she's pretty good, she just needs a little more compassion. What we carry with us is with us the whole ride. We can't leave home without it. Consider facing your elephant. Practice compassion while holding up a mirror. A door can be opened with, with, to transformation by you for others. Humanity has a chance with you. Listen with the same passion that you feel about being heard. Thank you so much.